How Maui Found His Father and the Magic Jawbone Maui was happy that he had found his mother, Tāranga, but two things bothered him. Who was his father and where did his mother go during the day? One night he covered the window and door of their whare with cloaks and mats to block out the early morning light. Tāranga overslept and Maui saw her hurry out into the sunrise. Down the hill from the pa she raced. Maui followed behind her. Saw her leap into a hole and disappear from sight. He peered into the hole. He dropped sticks and stones, but he could not hear them land. If my mother can do it, so can I, thought Maui, and he sprang in after her. As he fell, he chanted the karakia to turn himself into rupi, the wood pigeon. With a flutter of his wings, he flopped into a pile of bracken at the bottom of the hole. He crept along the tunnel that led from the hole until it opened out onto the vast underground land. Beneath the tree, he could see his mother and a man. Could this man be his father? Maui fluttered into the branches of the puriri tree. He plucked a berry and dropped it on the man. The man looked up and Maui dropped another one. The man jumped up in anger. He called to the other people of the underworld and they began to throw rocks at the cheeky pigeon. Maui skillfully dodged the people's stones and when the man flung one, he let it hit him on his feathered chest. He fell from the tree and flopped at the man's feet. As the man bent to pick him up, Maui sprang to his feet in his human form. Then they knew that they were father and son. Maui's father, whose name was Makia Tutara, took his son to the sacred waterfall and bathed him in its waters. He chanted karakia to give Maui more magical powers and everlasting life. Maui was happy he had found his father, but Makia Tutara was sad. He had made a mistake when chanting the karakia over Maui. It was only a little mistake, but he knew it could one day cost Maui his life. Maui's grandfather, Murirangi Whenua, lived in the underworld too, and each day Maui would bring him his food. One day he hid the food and the grandfather said, Where is my kai, Maui? Give me your magic jawbone and I will give you your kai, said Maui. No, said his grandfather. So every day Maui would hide his food and ask him again. At last, Muri Rangi Whenua became too hungry and gave in. He slipped his magic jawbone from his mouth and gave it to Maui. Tame the sun with this bone, Maui, he said. Find the secret of fire and fish up a land, but do not defy Hine, the goddess of death, or you will surely die. Maui felt power of the bone course through him. I will tame the sun. I will find the secret of fire. I will even defy death. And when he returned from the underworld to the land above, he did. But that is another story.